best way to explain it is just imagine your water line breaking and being out of water at your own home for three days to a week. And then imagine a life, a lifestyle of that way, of living that way. This is what families deal with every day. They plan their month, their weeks, their lives around it. We are filling up the water tanks that we have here in our vehicles with drinking water. Uh, we're gonna haul it to Steamboat, Arizona, deliver it to some residents who don't have running water and to some of our elders who don't have running water. Filling buckets with water and little jugs, you know, that's how we grow up. Where I live, it's been probably the past two years my parents finally got running water. But it's still, I mean, they still use it to where, you know, it's something that you just don't waste. They're careful of how they use the water. I guess it just kind of hits home. Growing up not having running water, being able to help our elders get water when there's no one else to bring out water that that means a lot. Was there a lock on there? No, I didn't see one. It's hard. I mean, I used to live with my daughter and I came back. Uh, I'm not used to really being here, but I, I've been here since I'm over a month, two months maybe. Mm -hmm. So that's what, just one time we actually ran out of water. Scary. It is scary, yeah. yeah. Well, we're going to cook in the morning. That's what we were saying, but we were so lucky that those guys came in the evening from Pornfield. That's really something that they can help us, you know, in a way like this, when we needed help. Like right now, we were out. Since my brother is not here and and uh, it's really good, it's really helpful instead of us looking for water elsewhere, you know. My mom, she always used to tell me, you know, you got nothing wrong with you, get out there and get to work, do something, help people, people got problems, they can't do it for themselves, so. My belief system is that God has been good to me when I needed his help, mm -hmm. so to me that's God giving me the opportunity to help back. God bless you for doing it. Well, some other challenges is uh, other livestock. To me, you know, I, I, I have feelings for those livestock. Even though they're not mine, if they're gathered over at the windmill, I have to go down there and turn on the water for them. Let them get their fill and be on their way. That way they won't be in the way. The hardest part is uh, when the chapter house is closed. You know, they, when you need water, they're, they're closed and you just have to go somewhere else, you know, scrunch around to get water. To say that water is life is to kind of honor what's been given to us as a means to survive and to respect it, to honor it in a way where we do what we can to preserve it and we do what we can to provide it. To me, that's what it should be about. To me, that's what some of the elders talk about. That's the way it used to be. Uh, we go to some homes and they'll say, well, it's not like that anymore. Everybody wants to get paid for whatever they're doing or somebody wants something in return. And it's, it's, it's a great feeling to know that you can just be out there and just to help. <laughs>